doing a very first video on what I'm going to call install time. If you anything new and exciting to install, I'll take you guys with us. Well, let's see what we got here first. Today we're going to be installing an E-Lite round bar, easy lift, basically this is a sway bar slash weight distribution system they got on Amazon. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at what we got here. Of course it comes with a sway control and a the whole bolting system stuff. We're going on our first long trip. We definitely thought this was a bag full of stuff. Bigger bag full of bigger stuff. Uh, must be to hold the sway bar controller on and on. Dutch is more interested in the box. How's the box, Dutch? Box. All right. Okay. Sway control or arm. Sway control on or off. Pretty cool. Heavy duty. Oh gosh! Gigantic heavy piece. This must what goes in the car. I need a new one of those. Anyway. We'll start unpacking. Those are yet. Two of those. Oh boy! More heavy stuff. This is uh, should be uh, the right size ball on there already. Now I did get the the larger of unit. It actually, was a little bit cheaper to get the larger one. This has a thousand pounds towing capacity, so. Uh, so it definitely does the job above and beyond. It's kind of like one of those items that are going to be used in the future for our future larger RVs to take up. Some kind of random uh, stick of some sort. Almost to the end. Oh boy, more heavy stuff. Big heavy bar, easy to with a heavy duty chain, two of those, probably from both sides, heavy duty chain. Alright, so that's what we got so far. So, uh, let's take a look at all the pieces all laid out where you can see what's what, and let's do the install. Actually, we're we'll going to install a little bit later. I'm at work right now. So, when I get home, the install is going to happen. All right, good morning. Actually, we're gonna install that sway bar distribution kit that I've got uh, a couple days ago. I was gonna install it that evening, but of course, installing parts on your RV in the dark is not the best idea. But here it is, morning time. 
let's go over and install it. Actually, we brought the van home. Actually, this trip that we're going on in a couple of weeks for work, we're bringing my work van with me. So I'm gonna go install all the other parts onto the van itself. Normally we'd take the uh, our six cylinder trailblazer to haul our uh, ultra lightweight camper. But for this instance, we're gonna take the magic van as I call it. So all right, I read the instructions a little bit more. I want you to measure basically from the back bumper to the ground to the front bumper to the ground to make sure that when you hook it up, but it also tells you too that you need to hook the, the vehicle up to the camper. Of course the camper's in use right now, so it's gonna take me a few moments to get everything ready to get this van hooked actually up to the camper. But right now, I'm gonna go and install the back bumper system, and that way I can get that all hooked up and get that done properly, so let's go do that now. Got the uh, the weight control installed. Uh, it actually was a I didn't make I had to watch a few YouTube videos myself to make sure I did it correctly. But that's pretty much what we have now. We installed the chain system there to the back pole, attached it to the hitch. Right now the weight is mostly on the uh, down pole there because I'm about ready to take it off. But once I did have all the weight down, the tire, front tire didn't move at all. So that's pretty much what you want to do is you want to see no extra weight being distributed incorrectly. So we're pretty much good to go. 